different sizes. And talk about, you know, you even can, uh, as long as it's not a lot of water, it doesn't damage it. Well, so you can have, um, we don't want water up in the motors. Right. Because those are industrial, they're, they're, there's four motors up under the plate itself. It's obviously okay because horses, <laughs> and in fact, we had a nice little puppy dog at the show today that was going along and he was on the plate off and on, off and on, off and on. And after at some point he got so relaxed that he just had a little accident on the plate. <laughs> Now, you're starting to get a lot of the uh, calls or inquiries about this from all over the place now. Where's the, the furthest place, would you say, right now? Oh, well, and why? Well, we've just shipped to Ireland. Um, we've got a distributor now in Australia. Um, Chip and I were just talking this morning. I think we're going to be at the World Equestrian Games in France in, wow. in uh, 2014. So I think it's going to go international. Um, it's one of those things that just makes sense to horse people across all disciplines. Um, the barrel racer industry has gotten very much on board. Uh, Really? The, the owner of Theraplate spends a lot of time at the barrel racing. Racetracks love it because it's really good for the speed events. So anybody wanting speed events, it really helps. We're doing a lot of work with the polo riders. Of course, the jumpers love it. So, you know, it's just kind of interesting how you kind of find niche areas where people just inherently grab onto the technology and uh, get excited about it. Now, when it comes to you, what's your back and what riding? So I grew up in I well I uh -huh. I grew up in Kansas and I always say that I grew up riding bareback. You know I didn't we didn't have saddles. I, we just had ponies and right. and uh, we I grew up riding bareback. So I rode western through 4-H through most of my childhood. Yeah. Turned 30, had always wanted to learn to jump. So bought a jumping saddle and threw a jumping saddle on my old quarter horse and the rest is kind of history. And then you get involved in this whole English dressage world and. Then it gets really crazy. Well, but it's a, you, it is a lot of fun. And how do you describe the dressage? <laughs> Being because you grew up Western. You know, I, I'm kind of the ultimate. I think dressage is, is everything. It's, you know, especially for the people who are very goal oriented. Mm -hmm. And very, I think there is a definite personality type for dressage riders. They're very, I've seen it. very type A. Um, <laughs> it, is, it is not for someone. You have to be very goal oriented. And I think, you know, for people who have that. They want to achieve something and see results. I think the dressage is perfect for them. And it is just, it's the most beautiful thing. I can still, to this day, remember the first time I saw someone on a hillside riding dressage. And I went, I want them to do that. It's beautiful. Mm. And I can sit and watch Rebecca ride you know, for hours and hours and hours. And I never get tired of watching because it's beautiful. Watching yeah, Stefan do his musical freestyle and rebel today. I mean, I, this is dressage riders. And I turned around and I saw people wiping their eyes. I mean, it, wow. it literally brings people to tears when you see something that is that is a picture of you. <laughs> so it is. It's it's just the ultimate to me, the ultimate horsemanship. And what's the website? Uh, www.therapy.com. Okay. What's your website? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm working on that. I'm i uh, I have lots of websites, but not one specifically for me. So check out www.therapy.com for any information. There's a lot of links to some great articles. Absolutely yeah. feel free to call me. Rebecca always has my phone call information, and uh, we love to talk to people. And since this is the movie reviews and more, I have to ask, what are a couple favorite movies that you like to see? <laughs> you know what? The one that always comes on TV that I will always watch over and over is Ghost. It's one of my favorites. Really? And it goes back, and it's really not about anything except the fact that, to me, that last scene where it talks about heaven and earth and evil and good, I show my boys that, and I'm like, you know what? You're good. You go to the right place, and if you're bad... You get to play with those really nasty, scary things. And I, it, all right, so your boys like? My boys watch The Walking Dead. That's probably the one that we watch the most. So. And you watch it together. We do watch that's it together. Nice. I don't know that that's one of those shows that I would necessarily have started watching. But when you've got teenage boys, you look for things to do with that's them. Bonnie. Other than sports, which, you know, they'll watch sports all day long. And moms, I'm okay with watching The Walking well, Dead. Well, it's called Bonnie <laughs> because, you know... Zombies and vampires are in, so that's a good thing. What's a favorite song that you like to listen to when you're on the road or whatever? Oh my gosh, and a favorite why? song? Oh, oh. Um, when you were a little girl or something like that, what what touched well, you? Know, you? You know what, it's, it, it's, it's Christmas season right now. And yeah. even in California, which to me this is not really Christmas weather, but you know, you go along and you listen to Christmas music, and I'm one of those weird people that even in July, when it's really, really hot in Kansas, I'll throw Christmas music tape in just to make myself think of cool snow kind of days. It works though. It does. You know, you can't you can't you can't not smile when you listen to jingle bells. Ah. And with that, <laughs> we will end with that.
I'm Brian Sebastian. This is Marie. You're watching Horsing Around on Movie Reviews and more. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.